What's going on, y'all? Gamers doing here today, repping the Fighting Line. I wearing the Kofi Coburn jersey, and we are back. We are back. Games start today, 5 p.m. my time, um, 7 p.m. Central, Eastern Illinois. Doubt I'll be able to watch the game because I do think it's on Big Ten Plus. Um, so I doubt I'll be able to watch the game. Um, but it's gonna be a fun season. I think it's gonna be a fun season. Um, we're gonna try to do these videos weekly. Um, so this week we will talk about Eastern Illinois and Oakland. Um, we're going to try to do these videos weekly, like I just said. Um, but the Premier League videos um, will try to be the same consistency with those as well. Um, kind of backed off a little bit from the NFL videos. Um, but we'll hopefully get these videos pretty consistently. Um, but I'm just going to break down the roster here for so far. Um, first, we got Marcus Domask, um, new, new pickup. Um, scored 11 in the game against Kansas that was televised that we did win. Um, I think he'll be a solid pickup for us. Um, he should be somebody that adds either some consistency into that starting lineup or if he does come off the bench, he will be a quality player that should get a good rotation in with Brad Underwood. I do think Domask will end up being um, an interesting player for us. Next, we got Draw Gibbs, Lawhorn. Um, I think this kid is going to be solid. Um, we're hearing good things from him. Um, we had Brad Underwood. They are talking about it on the Kansas broadcast. That they said that he might be one of the best players that Brad's coach. And I really hope that's true because we, we've seen him coach Kofi. We've seen him coach Io. We saw what Terrence Shannon was able to do. Now, granted, I don't want you to go in here with the highest expectations for him. He is still a freshman. Um, but... I think this is very good for us to have somebody that is getting that high praise early on, potentially could become that Trent Frazier-like four-year guy that really leads and bleeds Illinois basketball, um, and that could be really good for us. So, Draw Gibbs Lawhorn, watch out for him. Don't know how involved he will be once the tougher games get going, but he should be involved here in the first few games as we get as we get our feet wet um, against some of these teams that we should just be pretty easily. Um, this season, we're going to get Luke Goody. Luke Goody will be there. Um, hopefully, he is healthy for the whole season. He adds a new layer to that Illinois team um, that we missed for a decent portion of last season. Obviously, one of our best shooters, good defender, adds a different kind of layer to that team that we were missing last season. So Goody, got to have a healthy season. Um, should be pretty fun if he can stay healthy. Next, we got Justin Harmon. I've actually watched this kid play. Um, he did transfer from, I believe, Utah Valley. Um, when we got him, I was like, that kid looks familiar. I watched him play because he had a game against Oregon. Um, good, solid player. Should be a decent guard for us. Should be, I imagine, the starting point guard. Um, gives you a little bit different of a vibe than um, the other guards you have on the roster. Um, can can score a little bit. So it, it's going to be interesting seeing what Harmon's able to do. I think I think we did a good job going for Domask and going for Harmon and even going for um, Kutcher, Keaton Kutcher, who we'll talk about in a minute. I think we did a good, solid job of going for guys that have that experience. Um, we didn't, we didn't really focus on, um, we didn't, we didn't focus on bringing in a, an elite freshman class or anything like that. Um, but we, we, we went for a little bit more experience. Um, next, we got Sincere. We all know him, Mister Ninety Four Feet, best defender on the team, more likely than not. Yet to say that for this season, but last year our best defender um, had a solid season last year. But we'd like to see some improvement scoring wise. Um, not the greatest shooter on the feet, on the court, um, but hopefully that does come around for sincere because that defense is hard to keep off the court. You got one of the best defenders, not even just on this team, but in the Big Ten and maybe even the country. Sincere Harris was everywhere last year. Um, and if he can if he can figure out ways to be efficient offensively, he's going to be a real dangerous player this season. Um, next, we got Keaton Kutcher. He is a transfer. Two years played at South Dakota. Um, only played 25 career games. Should more so be a depth piece for us. Um 
and hopefully he can come in and in sporadic moments and get a couple buckets here and there. Um, but yeah, Keaton Kutcher transfer, not not the most extensive of a playing time in in his college career, but hopefully it comes to help us that he has. Um, he's he's been in a locker room where he wasn't the number one option. He was coming off the bench, only played 25 games in two years. Hopefully he's able to come in and really help the team out. Then you got Nicolo Moretti, another freshman. This guy, um, I believe he's from, yeah, he's from Italy. Um, yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure he's from Italy, but he is from Italy. Um, but yeah, this kid is one of those uh, players that you, you have high hopes for, but you don't really know what you're getting into. Um, because you don't know how translation of basketball is going to go from playing in the Italian uh, leagues to going into college basketball. I think he'll be solid, though. I think he should be solid, um, and I'm very excited to see what he can do this season. Um, then we got A.J. Red. Shout out to him. Um, he more than likely won't play too much this season. Uh, he was on the bench last year, but A.J. Red. Um, could get some sporadic time, especially in this first few games, to maybe make a, a statement and find a spot in the rotation if there is one for Brad Underwood to be given up. And then we got Ty Rogers. Ty Rogers, big, big dude, man. He's like 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, plays the point guard sometimes, can play one through about four. Um, Ty Rogers, very aggressive player. Um I like the energy he usually brings. Last year, he had a solid rookie, or not rookie, freshman campaign. Um, but yeah, Ty Rogers, I think he's bound for having a good season as well, um, especially if he's able to bring that energy and that, that aggression that he had last season. Should be somebody to look out for. Um, then we got Terrence Shannon. Terrence Shannon is obviously former All-Big Ten. This, this should have been in the NBA draft. I scored 28 points against Kansas. This is going to be the guy. This is going to be the guy. When you look at Illinois basketball at the end of the season, you're going to say, who was their best player? It's going to be Terrence Shannon, more likely than I. It could be Coleman Hawkins, but I'm going to go off on a limb and assume it's going to be Terrence Shannon because Terrence Shannon, when he's going, Illinois is going. We saw that last year early in the season when we're beating all these big teams. Terrence Shannon going 30 points, hitting, hitting six, seven threes. When Terrence Shannon's cooking, the team's cooking. Terrence Shannon, if 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 Terrence Shannon's doing anything, and if he's if he's dropping 20, 30 points, Illinois is having a good night. Illinois is having a good night. So watch out, um, Terrence Shannon. Gonna need a big season out of him. Um, at points in the season last year, he did slow down, but if he keeps that what he did early in the season throughout the entire season, Illinois is gonna be one tough team to beat. Uh, then we got Max Williams. I'm not going to lie, I don't know too much about Max Williams, um, but he is on the team, so maybe he can contribute here in the first few games and earn a spot. Uh, then we got Dane Danger. Dane, um, obviously somebody that I think kind of got the short end of the stick last year a few times. Um, they, they would take him out late in games because they're worried about free throw shooting, but I think Dane really, really dominates the paint. He gives you something... Um, that the team doesn't have, and that is somebody that's so fluent um, in the paint. You get him the ball, he'll do a post hook, he'll hit a spin move into a layup. It's The footwork with Dane is exactly textbook. Anything you would want to show somebody, if you have a big man, you're showing them Dane Danger highlights because Dane Danger, he, he, he just has the footwork, and it's, it's so smooth watching him play basketball. Um, hopefully he does play a significant por uh, part in the team this season. I was kind of frustrated last year with how little Brad Underwood played him at times. Um, but Dane, I think if they do go with him for a decent portion in every game, they he can have a good season. I think he is a very solid player, one of the better big men in the Big Ten. So Dane Danger, watch out for him to have a good year. Next, we got Quincy Garrier. Um, like I said, watch Justin Harmon play at Oregon. We definitely watched Quincy Garrier play at Oregon. Quincy Garrier is some uh, one of those guys that he, 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 he can be a little bit of a microwave. If he gets going, he can turn on real quick, and he'll he'll go for 15, 20 points, something like that. Quincy Garrier, good defender. I think it, it adds a new layer to the Illinois team, like I said, kind of with um, earlier with Domask. 
I think he adds a layer that they didn't necessarily have, but adds, even if he doesn't start, a good depth layer, um, some consistency there, solid defender, can shoot, um, adds, adds a little bit more of um, a chess piece for Brad Underwood to use. So I'm definitely excited to have Quincy Garrier in town. Um, then we got Imani Hounsbury, um, freshman, yet again, solid freshman. This dude is supposed to be fairly good. I don't know how much playing time he'll get this year, though, because, I mean, we, we kind of just talked about the, the big man situation, Dane, and Quincy, and then you're going to have Coleman Hawkins in that mix. Um, so there's there's three guys right there that are going to take significant minutes. I don't know how much time is going to be around for Imani Hansbury, um, but he should be solid if he's getting the opportunity to play. I've only heard good things about him. Freshman, it should be interesting to see what he does. He'll have an opportunity to showcase himself here in the Eastern Illinois game and the Oakland game this week. So watch out for Hansbury. Um, then we got Coleman Hawkins. Obviously, we know about Coleman Hawkins. Um, he's kind of like that playmaker big. Um, he'll go out there. He's able to shoot. He's able to make some nice passes. He's able to defend. Coleman Hawkins, I think the only thing with him that I would say is somewhat of a negative as at times ref doesn't give him a call he will he will mentally check out of the game for a few seconds um and and it has hurt us in the past i i'm hoping that's not the case this year coleman hawkins when he's locked in is one of our better players if not our best player um i remember what was it last year maybe it was two years ago um that first couple games through the season they're looking at the 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 best player in the country and coleman hawkins on that list Coleman Hawkins is on that list not because he's able to pass, he's able to rebound, he's able to score. He's He literally can do it all. He's literally the exact kind of player that you think will translate into the NBA, the exact kind of big man that you would want onto an NBA team. He gives you those vibes. Um, and then you have him on, on, a, on a college team still. Four, five, it's either his fourth or fifth year, um, but... He should come in, has the experience, he's been in tough games, he's had the grind of the Big Ten. Him, Terrence Shannon, those two guys right there is going to be what wins us games this season. Those guys are going to be the guys that, when you think of Illinois basketball, it's Coleman Hawkins, Terrence Shannon, one-two punch right there. Those two guys are going to be Illinois. They're going to be Illinois. That's simple. But let's talk about the games this week. We do have Eastern Illinois at home at 5 p.m. tonight. Um, should be a f easy, fun game. Um, should be able to showcase a lot of different talents here. I don't expect Eastern Illinois to make it a close game. I hope they don't. Um, I kind of just want to see what the vibes are with this team. And then you got Oakland. Um, Oakland, yet another team. Should beat them. Should beat them. Um, and then... Those two games right there are going to be your tune-up because you got Marquette on Tuesday. We'll talk more about that later. Marquette, a top-five team in the country. So big, big, big game there against Marquette. That one's being played at the State Farm Center. So our first three, actually our first one, two, three, four, five, six, our first six games the entire month of November are all at the State Farm Center, so we should have the home court advantage. Eastern Illinois, got to get a big win. Oakland, got to get a big win. Get out scoff-free, no injuries, anything like that. And Marquette is going to be the real test this month because after Marquette, competition kind of falls, falls off a little bit until we start playing Rutgers again. So definitely. Uh, oh, and we played Florida Atlantic and Tennessee this year. So we got we got some good – and we got Fairleigh Dickinson. We got some we got some tournament legends this season uh, – um, but yeah, month of November, really the biggest game on the table is Marquette. So you got to go in, you got to do your business here, the first two games and then Marquette. Um, obviously you can't overlook either Eastern Illinois or Oakland cause you do that. And then now you're going into Marquette game one and one, oh, and two doubt it's going to be oh, and two, um, shouldn't be one and one, but you, you don't want to overlook them cause then you're going into Marquette. Not most energy. Marquette should be a game that the State Farm Center fills out for. Um, so, yeah, definitely um, big, big week here. But thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you all next week.